obviously with this, now you're a drummer. The types of grooves and uh, time signatures and, and feels or whatever is, is really limited only by your imagination. A um, couple different ideas, I don't know. I have dropped the G, as I had warned earlier, to an F sharp. Um, so we're now in open D. And uh, here's something a little bit more broad shouldered, a little bit more sweeping. Penelope Cruz sort of like on an Appaloosa like coming over the moor and like she is in a red dress and uh, and uh, this would be this would be great for that and she's coming straight at me which is weird but not really because I wrote the film so That's 6-8, uh, um, we'll call that 6-8 epic, <laughs> if you want, or something like that. So here's, here's another idea. Um, again, once you have the basic together, start pulling things apart and adding stuff you already know, like, say, a capo. So I've added a capo, I've put a capo on the second fret. So now um, our uh, D, persistent D that we were in before is now, uh, has relinquished the stage to E. So, but uh, F is, F is just a fret away. I think that's a, there's a song title for you. So here's another potential um, groove. This is, this is something where I actually went backwards. I wrote this for a band, um, recorded it. It's a song called Grace. And, um, and then went backwards from the band to a, to a solo um, arrangement. So I've gone back down to D. I've taken the G string and brought it down to F sharp. Um, and uh, I've gone into a very, into sort of a Jimmy Page kind of place. Zeppelin III, I think, is probably my favorite of the, of the Zeppelin albums. Today it is anyway, but you know, whatever. Tomorrow, you know, it could be Presence, who knows. Um, is it ever Presence? It should, it should be occasionally anyway. So basically what that is, is mixing up the uh, your regular kind of playing and then coming into a verse where there, there are actually words uh, under that, uh, over that groove, but you have it sitting there and you've, you've set a stage. You've set a stage by, via contrast, which is basically what songwriting is really so good at and what songwriters are really good at. Um, it's, uh, it's just, it's using contrast and basically you're using contrast by changing techniques entirely. So, um, so you, you're going from what you all know and love, and we all know and love, to, to uh, sort of ominous and, and weird. And you can sort of get, you can get a sense of the band, and you get a, a sense that the lyric is important also because you've brought down the dynamics so much and you've 
kept the pulse. Um, so it's a great spot for strong lyrics and, and, and dramatic songwriting. And it leaves you, of course, open to having a gigantic chorus if you want it. Um, there, you know. Basically what I'm saying is mixing and matching. Once you have like three ideas, it's the mixing and the matching um, in a creative fashion that will open up your playing. Um, and that's something I've tried to do. And I've tried to do it in a way that keeps, again, the pulse, the groove, and keeps it kind of um, not so wildly virtuosic. Because I feel like once you get wacky and virtuosic, you get away. It becomes about the playing and the player and not the song itself. Um, I love shredding. I love all of that stuff. It's just what I do is I, I'm trying to write and I'm trying to find tools within the larger tool of, of the guitar in order to do that.